Ukraine's president is increasing pressure on NATO to send his Air Force fighter jets. It comes just one day after the Pentagon rejected a Polish plan to send the jets to Germany for eventual deployment in Ukraine. Jennifer Griffin has more from the Pentagon. Vice President Kamala Harris arriving in Poland today to reassure U.S. support for NATO's eastern flank. The Polish government announcing it will send MiG-29 fighter planes to a U.S. base in Germany for transfer to the Ukrainian military. But there's just one problem. The White House says the announcement caught them completely by surprise. They say they've been talking with Poland about the Ukrainian requests for more aircraft, but hadn't agreed to anything, calling the Polish proposal, quote, not a tenable one. It wasn't pre-consulted with us that they plan to uh, give these planes to us. The Pentagon says Ukraine is better off using anti-tank and anti-aircraft weapons like Stinger missiles because Russian air defenses cover almost the entire country. But the Ukrainian president says the planes are his number one request, and he's calling on both sides to get their story straight and get him the firepower he needs. We have a war. This is not ping pong. This is about human lives. We ask once again, solve it faster. Do not shift the responsibility. Send us planes. But it won't be easy. Russia says any country supporting Ukraine's air force is effectively joining the war possibly prompting military retaliation at a time when the Pentagon is trying to keep the fighting contained. Fighter jets manned by Americans departing a NATO base to fly into airspace contested with Russia raises serious concerns. Defense officials say they haven't made a final decision about the Polish MiGs, and they're working to get more air defense capabilities to Ukraine.